Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining again today. Today we're going to be talking about the Azeron Cyborg. So, the Azeron Cyborg is a custom keypad slash controller slash gamepad slash whatever you want to call it and is the predecessor to its original, the Azeron Classic. I have both the Azeron Classic and the Azeron Cyborg. I've done a review of the Azeron Classic. I've also done an unboxing and setup, but not a totally proper review of the Azeron Cyborg. There's just so much to unpack here that I figured it would be best to do it in two videos. So while I have slacked off on making this second video, uh, we're finally there. And now we're gonna take a look at it and see how it compares and holds up to some of the games that I play. Taking a look here at Azeron's website, let's read a little bit about the Azeron Cyborg. The next gen beast is here, introducing Azeron Cyborg, the next generation Azeron keypad that raises the bar in gaming with even deeper adjustability and exceptional comfort. After getting used to this beast, you will never look back. Crush everyone with simple finger flicks. Right, so first up, we're gonna be playing some Aliens Fireteam Elite. I haven't been able to play too much of this game yet, but so far, being a pretty hardcore fan of the Alien franchise in general, I absolutely love this game so far, as mindless as it may be. Playing it with the Azeron Cyborg is a total game changer. I actually prefer this game this way rather than with a keyboard and mouse. The second game we'll be playing with the Azeron Cyborg is Chivalry 2, yet another absolutely mindless game full of gore and battle. Another game that I absolutely love as well. I played this solid every day for probably about eight months after it first came out. And again, playing it with the Azeron Cyborg is a total game changer. 
Death. He's got the head of himself. Forget him. You seen one? It's on horseback or on the horizon! They set their ponies on us! Finally, onto a game that requires a little bit more tact and patience. Insurgency Sandstorm, one of my all time favorites since the day it came out. Playing this one with the Azeron Cyborg is a whole lot of fun. I have had some incredible experiences with the Azeron Classic playing this game as well. Moving on to Star Wars Battlefront, yet another pretty mindless game when it comes to combat mechanics. However, this game can take up several hours of your day if you don't pay attention to the clock. It is a lot of fun to play with the Azeron Cyborg.
positions, not give them away to the enemy. You allow yourself to be bested by a bunch of ragged insurgents. We must retake the sector right away. Finally, moving on to one of my favorite games of all time and the game that I play probably the most, Star Citizen. And this is further proof that the Azeron Cyborg can not only be used for boots on the ground kind of gameplay, but as well it can be used for flying. Normally I fly with a very expensive Omni Throttle in my left hand and joystick in my right hand. However, I can say it's actually a lot of fun to fly in this game with the Azeron Cyborg, despite the fact that you do not get nearly as precise of control. So, now that we're playing a game that is slightly quieter, let's go over some things. The MSRP on the Azeron Cyborg is $164. It boasts next-gen adjustability and ergonomics, available for both lefties and righties, 29 mappable keys, Omron switches, includes lifetime basic re-WASD license, customizable visual design, 360-degree thumbstick movement, move with the thumbstick analog, WASD, or aim with your mouse. Button towers can be tilted up so you don't have to reach for any buttons. They are right at your fingertips. No matter if you like palm grip or claw grip when you are gaming. With possibility to tilt up the towers, you can game the way you like it. Button towers can also be tilted sideways so they can be aligned perfectly with your fingers and grip. Thumbstick module can be adjusted for the position you are most comfortable with. Thumbstick position can be lifted higher or lower as well, or tilted in a slight angle. The position of the top buttons can be adjusted to get minimum travel distance from your fingers to the skill you need right now. The height of the palm rest can be adjusted 5 millimeters by removing the elevation plate underneath it. They have redesigned the layout of the buttons for maximum reachability to reduce the finger travel distance for competitive-minded gamers and reduce stress for your arms during those long gaming sessions. Adjust the distance between your fingers so you don't have to look for the buttons, they are right where they should be. Adjust how far you want each button tower to match your hand perfectly. The Azeron Cyborg comes with a 2mm braided USB cable that can be removed for easier transportation, storage, modding, or easier fixing, unlike its predecessor, which had a hardwired USB braided cable. You can choose between two palm rest types as well, flat or curved. Curved is the most comfortable and will fix your hand in one position. Your hand will always be in the same position. The flat palm rest is for those who love to move the hand in any position you wish or have wide hands. Create your keybinds and store them in game profiles with re WASD mapper. Basic lifetime license is included with the keypad purchase. Finally, it's 3D printed. It allows Azeron to freely listen to feedback and constantly improve the keypad design and make custom designs. It enables Azeron to create a keypad version for left-handed gamers and make adjustments for disabilities as well.
Well, there you have it. I think the footage speaks for itself. This is a very awesome, new, very intuitive way to game if you are a PC gamer and prefer to use some sort of controller and not a keyboard and mouse. Now, me personally, I still prefer keyboard and mouse. However, I'm definitely willing to say that after owning the Azeron Classic and using that to game for a little while, and now owning the Azeron Cyborg and using this to game for a little while, while it may not be preferable to me, it is certainly an enjoyable experience. I do not dislike it by any means, and it may even be more beneficial to certain player types who are not the same player type as me. I'm probably always going to prefer a keyboard and a mouse to anything. I mean, I play Star Citizen and sometimes I don't even use the two $250 joysticks that I, uh, you know, bought to fly with. Sometimes I'll just fly with a keyboard and mouse. So it's very hard when you've trained yourself just to be a keyboard and mouse player to break away and get into a new learning curve, train yourself to do something new. But I'm telling you, this thing is an absolute game changer. So as usual, I want to thank Azeron. Huge shout out to the company over there in Latvia for sending me the Azeron Cyborg to test and review and even changing the Cyborg to Shogun just for me. Thank you guys. You're a wonderful company. It's been a pleasure to work with you multiple times now. Um, and as usual, of course, uh, to promote this product, I'm going to go ahead and throw the link to Azeron's website and to the Azeron Cyborg down into the description of the video. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please comment and give it a thumbs up and let me know I am doing a good job. If you wish to support me as a creator further, please tap that bell to all notifications so you never miss any future content from this channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.